Update 30.5 will see some significant Mercy Kill changes. As this is pre-release information, it is subject to change, so if you're coming to this video after the update has been released, check the comments to see if I pinned any updates to the update. Preamble aside, what do these Parazon changes mean for you? I'm the Engineer, let's solve the practical problem. The first big change, you can no longer mercy kill any enemy at random. It used to be that dropping an enemy below 20% HP would have a chance to open up a mercy kill. Instead now, mercy openers are only on these specific units. The threshold for this opening starts at 40% health, or 60% for the corpus, and is guaranteed to appear. Second, impact procs have been changed. Instead of increasing the chance of mercy kill being possible, as it's 100% now anyway, impact increases the health threshold for the opening to occur. Each proc adds 4 percentage points to a max of 80% health on Grenier and Infested units, or 100% health on the Corpus, so long as you've already removed their shield. Remember, it's still those specific units, so this isn't overpowered. Third, the Mercy threshold is also tied to a secondary value of 25,000 health, above which Mercy simply will not be available. This is supposed to stop Mercy being overpowered against exceedingly high level opponents. That addition is flawed, which I will cover shortly. And lastly, five new mods have been added to the Parazon. The details haven't been fully fleshed out for them just yet, so we're going to have to speculate a bit. First impressions then, this is moving Parazon Mercy kills in the right direction. Limiting the number and types of enemies that are eligible for Mercies does make it where the Parazon can be balanced around a controlled amount of availability so that is good. Also, having a new all-frame way to revive dead sentinels will be handy for those of us who actually like using a sentinel, especially in higher tier content. Likewise, I imagine the new mod for 50% ability strength buff can lead to some new highs for various warframe powers, opening new or simply more powerful options. So that's the highlights, let's look at this in more detail. The list of enemies for mercy kills is a tad limited. The inclusion of Xmus is good, and between Xmas and Ancients, I'd say that's plenty fine for the likes of the Infested. It'd be nice if this was an option for the Juggernaut as well. It could be that they set a special case for the Juggernaut of a 0% health trigger for the Mercy, meaning you are required to have impact procs to raise that threshold to a max of 40%. No impact, no shortcut on the kill. As for Grenier, the choice of just Heavy Gunner and Bombard feels a bit limiting to me. This doesn't cover Nox, Napalm or High Echo Masters, leaving you with overall fewer options to use the Mercy system. Nox I can understand, though they could use my Juggernaut suggestion of a 0% base and raised with impact procs to help drive home the value of impact. For the Corpus, it's worse. Scrambers are not that common of a unit, while Nullifiers are semi-common but very weak units. You take out their bubble and they pretty much die instantly, so getting Nullifiers to any particular threshold and landing a Mercy kill is going to be particularly difficult compared to the other Mercy units. I'm also surprised that there's no inclusion for techs and bursas. For example, a bursa Mercy kill could absolutely incorporate an auto hack as part of the process, given we already use our Parazon on a downed one. Still, we have our targets, and at least with the ranks of Xmas being included, it's not a terrible list. Next, let's have a look at those health thresholds. Firstly, this change to impact procs means, aside from mercy units, they're only useful for condition overload type modifiers. I wouldn't say this is too bad of a thing, given magnetic only applies to shields and corrosive only applies to armour, but it's still a limitation of the status. As for the thresholds themselves, 40% is pretty generous for general gameplay, so long as it matches your equipment level. Being able to raise that to 80% will do wonders for players on the lower end of damage output. However, there's still that 25k health threshold. Here's what DE said about this. Basically, they advertise the 25k health threshold as only being a thing for level 400 plus content. I'm sorry to say, that is absolutely incorrect. For a unit to be over 25,000 hit points at 40% of their max health, then their max health is going to be over 62,500 in total. A standard heavy gunner is over 62,500 health, at level 382. Some heavy gunners have higher stats still, with corrupted heavy gunners beating this threshold as early as level 83. 
An Ancient Disruptor will have over 62,500 hit points at level 228, and a Corpus Scrambus will be over that threshold at just level 77. We don't need to worry about nullifiers though, they still have no health. So already we have two units, the Corrupted Heavy Gunner and Scrambus, running up against the Mercy Threshold of 25k before level 100. Then we get to the Steel Path, which increases all unit hit points by 150% for a total of 25 times the normal value. At that point, a level 105 Heavy Gunner, one of the lowest you could possibly encounter, will still have 25,000 health remaining when reduced to just 31.2% of their health. While for an Ancient, it's 22.6% health, and for a Scrambus at level 105, it's just 8.8% health. Impact procs are supposed to be able to increase the threshold above 40%, but with the 25k limit being below 40% for nearly every eligible unit, impact procs would presumably do nothing on the steel path. But this 25k threshold is a very low one. It invalidates impact procs in high level content. Those same impact procs which now only apply to a subset of enemies in lower level content to begin with. It seems to me this is specifically for players who are lacking in damage output. In my honest opinion, that 25k threshold simply shouldn't exist. A mercy kill is not fast and applies to a limited selection of enemies. A reduced base threshold under certain conditions, such as for Nox, Juggernauts and maybe Steel Path, will be absolutely fine as players can use impact procs to recover that threshold if they wish to focus on mercy based actions. Otherwise, the 25k threshold makes mercy kills mostly a low to lower mid level tool. Now how about the mercy mods? Power Drain gives a 100% chance for the next ability cast to gain 50% ability strength. This doesn't actually say if it's on mercy or on hack, and the name doesn't help me figure that out neither. So let's assume because this is an update to mercy kills, this is going to be a mercy killing mod. That makes this a genuinely useful mod, giving twice the benefit of growing power, albeit waiting for a mercy kill opportunity. I'd imagine there's a variety of frames that can benefit from this, especially those with indefinite abilities like Wisp's Reservoirs, so this is a good mod. I just hope it doesn't have a 2% drop chance from Railjack. The next one is Malicious Code a 50% chance of making enemies within 15 meters cower in fear for 8 seconds. This again doesn't state its trigger, but the word code suggests this is a hacking mod, in which case it doesn't matter to mercy kills at all. As a hacking mod I wouldn't recommend it as things like auto breach, runtime and untraceable already exist. If it is a mercy mod, then I still don't recommend it, there's just too much competition for these slots. The third new mod is Hard Reset. Execute 3 mercy kills within 40 seconds to revive a fallen sentinel or companion. I do mostly like this one. So far the only ways to revive a sentinel are to have one that doesn't die, so Jin, or let yourself die and revive, or use Proteus Dispensary with the Augment. This Parazon mod adds a less restrictive alternative method, which is nice to have. The execution of 3 mercy kills is a challenge in itself though, as if you're playing at a level where your sentinel has outright died, Taking a time to try for 3 separate mercy kills is not going to be optimal, putting either you or the mission at risk. Having to do them all within 40 seconds then may well rule out being able to use this mod in anything other than solo play. I can already foresee the frustration of someone trying to revive their companion while their teammates helpfully annihilate every enemy in the room. Warframe usually has very few reasons to worry about kill stealing, but this would be one of them, especially with that 40 second timer. Personally, I'd like to see the timer just removed. If it takes you longer to revive your companion, then we're talking about a minute plus where a person in a high level mission doesn't have a companion. Surely that's punishment enough for daring to use a sentinel. The next mod is Swift Mercy, which speeds up mercy kills by 50%. That I take to mean the mercy will be done one third quicker, which is nice but comes at the cost of one of your three Parazon slots. I would need to see the speed difference in action but I feel for such an opportunity cost of the mod slot, it could possibly do with 100% bonus rather than 50% to be worth taking that slot. Lastly we have Firewall, which reduces incoming damage whilst you're hacking. It's not a mercy mod, obviously, and I recognise a lot of people may be looking at this and going, but why? Well, the but why is for less tanky players who are wanting to go for the cheeky hack rather than trying to clear the room first, especially if they're on a timer. 
This has uses in, for example, removing lockdowns more safely, so you can just get on with the mission rather than having to clear the area for safety first. Likewise, it can help players who are struggling with a spy vault. The release of more security doesn't need to see them die using this mod, and therefore they're less likely to actually fail the vault. So this is a support mod for those who need the support, much like putting Vitality onto an invisible Warframe. The better you are, the less you'll need it, but new players are probably the candidate here. So of these then, for longer term play, the two new mods of note are Power Drain and Hard Reset, specifically if you want a bonus to power strength and to be able to revive your Sentinel. The competition for powers on slots, especially from hacking mods, pretty much rules out the others in my opinion from being used much at all. But that new Power Drain mod, especially if it is actually a Mercy mod, I can see myself using that one. So let's review. If the 25k health threshold is removed, and we have Hayek and Masters, Napalms, Tex and Bursas added to the Mercy list, I think this would really improve on the update. I wouldn't mind if Nox and perhaps also Juggernauts had a significantly reduced base Mercy opener chance to demand Impact's usage. And overall, I just hope we see some reasonable drop locations for these new powers on mods. It'll be nice to acquire them, not just get them from transmutation. So, what are your thoughts on the Parazon update? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, this is pre-release, so there may yet be changes to what I have discussed here. I'll pin a comment with any changes if they happen soon after release. If you want to discuss this and other topics more, come join us over at twitch.tv slash thekengineer. That's all from me, so as always, have honour, show mercy, and fight well, Tenno.